Good evening, everybody. Hey, uh, I just wanted to throw this video together real quick. Um, one of the things that I would like to say is thank you guys so much. Each and every one, uh, not each and every one, but a whole crap ton of you guys have reached out to me and expressed their gratitude for me coming back. And uh, a lot of you have uh, mentioned how much you've missed my videos. And guys, it's very humbling. Uh, for every person that reached out to me, thank you very much. You made me feel about feel really good about the decision that I made to uh, do what I'm doing. And also, I would like to tell you that there's some really cool things coming to Mostly Snakes. Um, in short, I'm not going to reveal exactly what's going on, but within the last 72 hours, uh, Mostly Snakes has accrued some sponsors for some videos um, and if you don't know what that means that basically means we are going to be have stuff uh, having stuff sent to us for either product review or just overall helping me out and saying here we're going to give you this for making the video um, I did reach out to companies that I believed in uh, I'm not going to be promoting an item that I myself am not going to use so everything that I'm going to be receiving in the next month month and a half possibly a little longer uh, is going to be stuff that I believe in personally so one it's going to give you a closer look at some different items that are available out there for the snake community and two guys people are wanting to submit uh, just give me stuff so that tells me that this channel is doing really well. And I can't thank you guys enough. I really can't. All right, as you can see, we are not going to be located where we were before. You will see that I am not as elaborate as before. So I will tell you that I have two items coming in Thursday. Uh, there will be a introduction and uh, a reveal more or less probably Friday uh, so I put something together uh, in order to be ready for these two I'm not going to tell you what they are yet it's going to be cool though trust me uh, so I thought it'd be a great time to go over just your basic introduction to what you need for a tub and what I do to set things up and you know um, we'll go over the thermostat and things of that nature. Now, the first thing you're going to ask is, why in the hell do I have this thing right here? All right. Some of you are going to get it right off the bat. But when you have tubs, it is really super convenient when you go open up and you think, oh, he crapped again. All right, cool. Let's do this. You open this up. You pull he or she out. You place them in here, close them up, and you can go ahead and clean the mess up. All right, this is a rack system utilizing the FB90 tubs. And I'm going to get the phone a little closer. Now, as you can see, these are relatively large tubs. Uh, basically, you got your water uh, holder there. And we'll go over that a little bit more in detail. I am using newspaper at the current time. Uh, with having what I'm going to have, I'm more than likely going to be going to a coconut husk. And uh, just make it a little bit prettier, a little bit uh, more humidity friendly. Now the little cup section here, I'm using the, uh, what are they called? Uh, something cow 16 ounce deli cups you get them for their all right let me show you basically this is one sleeve of 50 you get 10 packs of these for about 80 bucks so 500 16 ounce deli cups for your water bowls for, you know, I've, I've seen them as low as $68 and I've seen them as high as $92. So you just kind of got to uh, shop around. 
uh, that's just strict, uh, strictly for their water. Uh, the ones I do have coming in are fairly young. So this 90 FB90 tub is going to be sufficient for quite a while. Now let's talk about the hide. This hide I'm kind of proud of for the main reason is I just made it out of spare PVC that I had laying around after uh, some enclosure builds, but you probably noticed something different. It's got these little tabs at the top. Now you ask, most of you will get it right away. And I hope that you say, oh my God, that's genius. Why did I not think of that? Basically all it is is just pieces of PVC that I have screwed in and it gives them a shed assist no matter which way they go, they're always going to have a way to rub up against. Because we all know it's in tubs, there's just not a whole lot of edges that they can get to to help them shed. So this here, as you can tell, is still sitting down low enough to where they can even crawl over top for their belly scales. They can crawl in between on both sides and, get, and from every angle and kind of help them with the shed. Keeping the humidity, of course, is always important, but I think this will make it a whole lot easier. This was a little brainstorm that I had during work one day. I thought, yeah, they need something in there to help them shed. And then at the same breath, I was like, well, I got to build some hides tonight. So, and then the little light went off and I was like, ah, I know what I can do. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, in the comments below, what you think about the new little hide design. Super cheap, super easy, super durable. They're not really going anywhere. Because it's made of PVC, you don't have to worry about it getting wet when they urinate. So, I think that's going to work out really well. Now, these tubs here, as stated, are FB90s. They are relatively large. Let me just get you... Who else likes my little table here? <laughs> I'm getting so domesticated, it's making me want to puke. Anyway, these are 26 wide by 32 deep and 7 inches deep. Did I say 32 feet deep? It's been a long day. I'm sorry. I think that was supposed to be inches. Pretty sure it's inches. Okay. So, back to what I was saying. The heat source I have on this is the heat tape. Which I'm not really crazy about. And as a matter of fact, I just saw uh, somewhere where there was an incident where the heat tape malfunctioned and actually melted a tub. So, you just got to keep your eye on it. The thermostat, you guys know my thermostats that I use. Um, they work great. I, I've never had a problem with them. I've been using them forever. That is actually one part of... I'm not going to say anymore. Never mind. Those thermostats, when you get these rack systems, they say to place the probe and tape it on the bottom side of your heat tape. Now, you, if you take your thermostat and set it to 88, 86, whatever, for the warm or the hot side of for your snakes, depending on which temperature they need, it's going off of the heat tape. Now, I've seen some people route their probe down on the inside and tape it on the bottom of the tub now, the only problem that creates is there's not a whole lot of room between the tub and the PVC. So if you're constantly sliding that back and forth, it's going to cause friction and it's going to wear down the cable on the probe. That could create a problem. I don't think it would, but eventually over time, it might have a misreading or, or worse. I'm not electrically inclined, so I don't know what exactly that prevails inside that wire but anyway uh, what you got to do is when you take that on the bottom of the heat tape like they recommend is you got to find the sweet spot on the thermostat now, I know for a fact that these thermostats I will set to about 94 95 and it gets me about an 87 88 degree 
surface temperature on the inside of the tub, which works perfectly. Uh, this is six inch heat tape, so it offers the range of temperature for what I'm going to be housing. So uh, that basically covers, again, the basics of tubs, what you need inside. Again, let me know what you guys think of the little shed assist tabs on the top of the hide. I think it's brilliant. I, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see if it's going to work uh, and do exactly what I think it's going to do. And if the snake is going to actually tell me, hey, yeah, that was an awesome idea, dude. I appreciate it. He's not actually going to do that. But anyway, I am so excited about being back. We've got some really cool things coming. I cannot stress that enough. So, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, it was just something quick, just something to throw together. Um, I've had so many people stress their, their need for videos, so I wanted to get something out there. One other thing, um, with my subscriber count and for my viewed minutes, uh, I was eligible for monetization. I'm hoping that uh, it was the, the request was submitted. They stated that it would take 30 days to, to review and get back with me. But within 12 hours, they came back and said that it was uh, eligible for monetization. Not sure how that's going to uh, affect the channel. But I do know that... If I do make any with my, my numbers that I have, I am going to get a whopping check of about 17 cents. So if you guys could keep watching, I really need that 17 cents. Anyway, I, I've got a few videos that are over the 30,000, uh, over the 30,000 views. Uh, those are my, what enclosure should I buy? Uh, I've got several that were pretty, Numbers were pretty high, so I thought, yeah, give it a shot. That, that 17 cents is going to come in handy. Um, if you have any questions about the tubs, give me a shout, and we'll try to help you out as much as I can. Like I said, just a basic rundown. Again, let me know what you think about the hide. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you Friday with some really cool stuff. Peace out.